Hello, welcome back to RC Video Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at logical switches and I'm going to show you a better throttle cutoff. A throttle cutoff is a nice thing to have, but a basic throttle cutoff is f***sies. What? I said rookies. All right, I could show you guys how to make a simple throttle cutoff, but you know that's just not the way we roll here. And I thought after we did the flight modes video, there'd be time to tone it back just a little bit and do something a little easier and a little faster and a little more universally applicable. So with that, let's just get right into it. The idea here is that it's super easy to create a throttle cutoff, and you can go find videos all over YouTube showing you how to do that. But I'm gonna show you a better way to do a throttle cutoff. Have you ever activated your throttle safety switch and turned it on only to find out you've had your throttle stick at 100%? I have. I've done that. I damn near took off my ugly stick doing that. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I, I, I didn't have my strap over my neck. I didn't, have my, I didn't have my radio connected to the strap. I wasn't at my flight station. But, you know, I was kind of walking back and I hit the throttle cut off and the plane, you know how fast that plane is? That thing was almost off the ground with my back to it. It was pretty bad. And that was recent. That's a recent example. And what had happened there was I had my throttle at 50 or 60% when I turned on the throttle, when I turned off the throttle cut. So what I'm going to show you how to do is a throttle cut that ensures before the plane goes that your throttle is down at zero. The way we're going to handle that, there are three things that you have to do. Number one, we're going to define a condition or a test when it's okay for the throttle to be active. So that's the first thing we want to do is tell the radio when it's okay for the throttle to go on to work. The second thing we're going to do is allow the use of the throttle while that condition is met. So we have to tell the radio what the condition is where it's okay to use a throttle and then we're going to allow the radio to use the, the throttle when that condition exists. We also want to disallow the use of the throttle when that condition is not met. And then the last thing we need to do is enforce the rule. We need to actually take action on those two rules. The first thing, you can use any logical switch you want. I'm going to use logical switch number one. And I'm going to say when A is less than X, and my evaluation source is going to be the throttle. And I want that throttle to be less than 99. And I want my SH, I use SH up. Now remember, I switched my momentary switches on my radios. So SH to me is on the right hand side, and it is not a momentary switch on my radio. It's a regular two position toggle. So for me, I want my throttle cut to be disabled when that switch is aimed away from me. And I don't need anything for duration or delay. So here's the rule. This, this, what this rule says is when the throttle is less than 99 and the switch, the throttle cutoff switch is forward or away from me, that is condition number one. That's when it's okay for that throttle to go active. And the way that manifests itself is the throttle stick has to be below 99. So let's pop in the simulator and take a look at it. Bring this up and bring up our, we'll bring up our outputs. I'm gonna turn the volume down so we're not listening to her. Okay. So remember, we're looking at logical switch number one is the one I just defined, right? Right there, logical switch number one. That's the one I just defined. So we're gonna look for logical switch number one to come on. Now, my, thr my throttle cut is down toward me right now. In that mode, logical switch number one never illuminates. Keep an eye on logical switch number one right over here. Keep an eye on that. So I'm gonna move this up and notice logical switch number one never goes on. The throttle works because I haven't done anything else, but logical zero one never illuminates. Now, if I bring the throttle down to zero and I turn the switch to on, Look at logical switch zero one now, it's lit. The reason it's lit is because my channel three is my throttle is below 90, negative 99, it's negative 100, and the switch is away from me. Those are the two conditions of that logical switch. Right? The throttle has to be less than 99 and the switch has to be away from me. I'm less than 99 and the switch is away from me. 
Okay, that's why logical switch number one is lit. As soon as I move this away, logical number one goes off. Notice that now my throttle is at 19%. Logical one is off. That's because my throttle is no longer below 99. So that's step number one. That works the way we want it to. Step number two now is to allow the use of the throttle while that condition is met and disallow it when the condition is not met. In order to do that, we're gonna use what's called a sticky switch. Now a sticky switch, a sticky switch is a little unusual in that it acts, the best way I can describe it is that it goes on when condition V1 is met and it goes off when condition V2 is met. And until it toggles from one to the other, it stays on or it stays off. So in logical number two, our first criteria is logical number one. So what this means is L2 will go active once logical switch number one goes on. Once logical switch go number one goes on, logical two is gonna light up, all right? Now, logical two is going to go off, that's the V2, when I activate my throttle cut. And that happens when I pull SH to me. Okay, so let's go into the simulator and take a look at what this looks like. Okay, we're in the simulator, and first thing I want you to notice is that logical one is illuminated. See, there's logical zero one right there, and it's lit. And the reason it's lit is because switch S, we've already proved this one, right? SH1 is away, and the throttle is below 99. Now, when I move the stick up, notice that logical one goes off. We've proven that switch already. I'm gonna reset this a little bit and get rid of logical zero two, and here's the example. Okay, I have SH toward me right now, it's down, which means my throttle lock is on. And my throttle, this is the condition I experienced at the field. The throttle is up at say 50%. Now I'm gonna turn off my throttle cut. So when I do that, notice that logical one and two are still both off. So that means that the condition for when my throttle is allowed to be active has not been met. And number one, that hasn't been met. Logical switch number one never lit. In order for that to get lit, I have to bring this down to negative 99 or less. So here it goes down to negative 99. Now watch what happens. When I hit negative 99, logical one over here is gonna light and so will logical two. And the reason logical two is gonna light is because logical one lit. Once logical one lights, logical two lights. So I'm gonna go down to negative 99 and there we go. Logical one is lit and logical two is lit. Now check this out, here's the sticky part. Now that logical two is lit, it's gonna stay lit until V2 is met. Until this V2 condition right here is met, logical two is gonna stay on. So I'm gonna move my throttle up and notice that logical one is gone now, but logical two is still on. Okay, so to go back to step number two, we've now confirmed that we allow the use of the throttle when the condition is met, the condition being L1. So L1 is, a, the throttle is allowed when conditions in L1 are completed, and they were, right? Our throttle was down at zero, our throttle switch was away, and logical one is lit, okay? So that satisfies part one of step two. Part two of step two is disallow when the condition is not met. So we're gonna move our stick up and down and notice that logical two is still lit. It's still lit right here. Now to turn logical two off, all I have to do is activate my throttle kill. When I do that, now logical two is off and it won't relight until logical one is lit. So if I say, wait a minute, I want that back on and I click this back on, notice that it's off. It, logical two is still off, logical one is still off because we haven't met the conditions in logical one. The only way we can do this is by bringing the throttle back down to zero and now we got our lights back, one and two are back. Okay, now it's time to execute these rules and make them take effect on the throttle interface. The way I'm gonna do that is in the special functions tab, I'm gonna find not logical two. Now remember, we only want the throttle to work when logical two is lit. So when logical two is not lit, this is not logical zero two, we're gonna override channel three on our throttle and we're gonna set that to negative 100. And we're gonna put a check mark in that says that's on. So what this rule says is if logical two is active, this doesn't do anything. That means the throttle will work as normal. If logical two is not active, then we're gonna override our throttle channel with a value of negative 100, okay? So now let's see what that looks like in the simulator. 
Notice logical one is lit, and the reason it's lit is because SH is away and the throttle is below 100%. But let's go ahead and use the throttle lock. We've already tested the logic. I don't want to go through the logic again here. What I do want to show you is that, remember, on my radio, throttle is channel three. So let's look at, let's pay attention to channel three. So right now I'm moving my throttle stick and I have no movement on channel three. My mixer sees it, but there's no output. We're overriding channel three, okay? So no movement on channel three. Now I'm gonna activate, I'm gonna put my throttle at 50%. I'm gonna activate the SH switch. Logical one hasn't lit, therefore logical two hasn't lit. And if I move the throttle, you can see I still have no outputs on channel three. That means no throttle here, okay? No output on channel three. Now, in order to get that condition met, I have to pull my stick all the way to zero first now, logical one lit, logical two lit, and let's watch channel three as I operate the throttle. There, I've got full throttle. Okay, to kill the th throttle, all I do is bring my SH switch or my throttle kill switch back to zero, and my throttle is off, no matter what I do. In order to enable it, I can turn the throttle cut off, but I still don't have throttle until I bring that stick down to zero. Now I've got it down to zero, two's lit, and I've got gas. All right, guys, I told you that'd be a lot simpler and hopefully highly effective. I hope you enjoy this type of content. If you're not a subscriber, full 70% of my viewers don't subscribe, so I would appreciate it to help me grow the channel if you'd hit that little subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Don't forget to hit my Amazon affiliate links if you need consumable RC gear, and also check out my RCVR t-shirt store if you need a cool RC pilot t-shirt for your next fly day at the field. That's all I've got for today, guys. Take it easy.